Hi, everybody. Welcome back. Boy, it sure is cold today. <laughs> I'm still in Oregon and it is 50 degrees outside. And it's going to drop down to the 30s tonight. So I wanted to get this react done before it gets too chilly in my house. Yes. So I've been waiting all day to see if Chantal did anything interesting. Unfortunately, she did not. But she did a food video called Homemade Meatball Stew Mukbang. And I want to go over it because there are some interesting things going on in this video. Uh, she gets kind of annoyed because there are people outside doing construction work or work of some kind. And that's interesting because the apartment that she had before she went to Thailand, she was supposed to be a few floors up. And yet it sounds like the apartment that she has now, it's close to the ground. So isn't that something? Did they switch apartments? Kind of sounds like it. Because if you're closer to the ground, you're going to hear stuff like construction. If you're higher up, you're not going to hear it. She also talked about how she's migrating some of her videos from the couple's channel over to her main channel. And why is this an absolute no-no? Well... You can migrate videos as long as you've not monetized them before. You can't reuse monetized content. And it kind of sounds like that's what Chantal's doing. She's migrating a lot of stuff from the couple's channel over to her main channel. So my question is, why? The couple's channel is supposed to be the couple's channel. She's also got the Everyday Miriam channel, which still has no content on it. So why move everything over? Is there trouble in paradise? Are her and Salah fighting? Why is she moving the content over? So we're going to go over some of the finer points of this uh, video and see what Chantal is up to. But before we do that, let's just get into the brief stuff on Twitter because there is some stuff to cover, just a couple of things. So for those who want to follow me on Twitter, there's my Twitter handle, Wild Girl Sarah. Okay, so Chantal did a community post where she addressed her using products that she's supposed to be boycotting. And here are some of the comments left under that community post. This is courtesy of Sweet Kristen, saying comments left under Foodie Beauty's new community tab post about boycotting. I love you guys. So the comments are from Captain Canuck saying, as if Chantal would boycott anything she could eat. Now, no, she, she's not going to truly boycott. Even if she doesn't eat them on camera, Surely she's going to eat them off camera. We're just not going to see. Big Mac says, since Salah is such a successful businessman and can totally support you by himself, why don't you do us all a favor and boycott Google slash YouTube? Yeah, what happened with that, Chantal? What happened to Salah being so successful that you could quit YouTube? Didn't you say that a while ago, that he was doing so incredibly well that YouTube was something that you could quit or continue at will. But we've all seen the signs that he's not successful. The Bees of Perfume really wasn't a big hit. And if anything, you're having to increase the amount of videos that you put out per day in order to support himself and you. So yeah, where is the success in all of that, Chantal? Uh, user says your husband is supposed to provide for the wife. Since you're obviously not enjoying making content anymore, why don't you do us all a favor and boycott YouTube and Google? Your handsomest provider man will surely agree since you two are so passionate about your politics. You know, Chantal, nobody's coming to you for politics. Nobody. Nobody's even coming to you for food recipes or to watch your cooking. The only people that are watching you are people that have been watchers since way back and they're just trying to keep up with the story and people that are coming to your channel because they have an interest in watching you gorge yourself with food. But yeah, if you are so against certain things, why not boycott YouTube and Google? We all know that you won't do that because that's your main source of income. But if you're so incredibly passionate about certain political things, why not do that? Hmm. Bet you won't. Now, here's something interesting from Tara Lee and Erie Pepperoni. Tara Lee says, I'm not shocked she buys subs. I'm shocked she spends money on subs that could have been spent on food. That must have been painful. Hashtag foodie beauty. So Erie Pepperoni says, keep purchasing them subs, foodie. I'm going to love when you attempt to get your play button and they catch you on this and you get denied. Yeah, so that's a thing. 
For those who are worried that Foodie is going to make it to 100K and get her YouTube silver plaque play button, which YouTubers get once they reach 100K, just understand that before YouTube issues that plaque, they will do a review on a channel and make sure that all of the subs are organic. So if she's been buying subs, which she has been, they're going to audit her channel and take all of those bought subs away and she will not get that plaque. But let's take a look at the picture. Okay, I know it's kind of hard to see. Okay, so on 10-28-2023, she bought 100. On 11-02-2023, she bought another 100. And on 11-7-2023, she bought another 100. So she bought 300 subs. Now, I don't know why Foodie continues to do this because after a while, the bots catch all of the bot subs and they get rid of them. But maybe she feels that by keeping herself in the higher numbers that YouTube will favor her more. But all she's doing is just wasting money for no reason. But go ahead and do what you want, Booty. Do what you will, my dear. It's your money. It's just money you could have spent on food. I'm just saying. So let's go back over here to the uh, video in question. Let's get on with that. And where is it? Where is it? Where is it? <laughs> I am so off my game today. I am so sorry. What are we doing? Okay. We're, we're getting on her video. There she is. There's the girl of the hour. All right. So, yeah, she's eating her homemade meatball stew mukbang. Well, can I just give my thoughts on it before we get started? So, we got a cheap off-brand soda, which there's nothing wrong with that. I've drank them before. Nothing wrong at all. But... It looks like all she did was cook up some rice in the rice cooker. Because if I'm not mistaken, that's the rice that she bought with the grocery haul. She bought a whole bunch of basmati rice. Is that what that is? So she cooked up some rice in the rice cooker. She opened up a can of mi mixed vegetables and then just threw it on a plate. And that could be the leftover meatloaf formed into balls with a little bit of sauce. Because if Foodie had really cooked this from scratch, her abaya would be a mess. So if she's not messy and she's got a full face of makeup, listen, she did not really cook that. She just threw it on a plate and just tried to act like she cooked it. But let's get started with this and let's see what she has to say. Okay, first I'm going to apologize. There might be some drill noise. I'm not waiting for them to finish their work day, whatever construction they're doing, because I'm hungry. So I made a homemade meatball stew type thing with rice <laughs> and um, mixed vegetables. And I also have a bar cola. So this is a, it says 59p. Does that mean you guys have it in um, UK? I'm not sure, but this is uh, a type of cola that um, I can have. So <laughs> this is a type of cola that I can have. Well, no ish, Sherlock. <laughs> it's a type of cola that I could have, ma'am. You're a diabetic. Should you be drinking cola? No. Are you going to? Yes. Uh, it's not sugar-free. It's not sugar-free cola. So maybe you shouldn't have it. <laughs> you think? All right. So let's say bismillah and let's try this. So I didn't film the cooking because I just... Whoa. Eh. So I didn't film the cooking because honestly, I just didn't feel like sweating it up in the kitchen today. She didn't film the cooking because she didn't really cook. That's why she didn't film the cooking because there really was no cooking process to be heard of. She, Like I said, that looks like she just opened a can of mixed vegetables, maybe heated it up, uh, cooked some rice in the rice cooker, threw some meatballs on it, some cheap sauce and called it a day. That's what it looks like to me. That dish is far too clean. When she cooks, she makes a mess. So if it's not messy, she didn't really cook that. But I'm going to give you a beauty bite. It's hot. Mm. Oh, my food is mm. amazing. 
some potato. And I have some veggies of the day. A little bit of butter and salt. Peas, beans, carrots, and corn. Mmm. Let's try the cola. Tastes like cheap knockoff cola. I like it. You know, like RC cola or something? Anyway, so I'll tell you how you made this quickly, okay? And I got some new pots. Salah got me some new stainless steel pot set. I'm so excited to show you guys next time I do cook. Um, or show my cooking. So basically for the meatballs, I just have one package of ground beef, one pound. Um, one egg, blended up onion and green pepper, blended up mint, dill, and coriander. Um, I forgot to put seven spice, darn it, which has like nutmeg and cinnamon and stuff. Cumin, I should have put that. Don't worry, foodie. Nobody's coming to you looking for cooking recipes. You don't have to remember everything. Nobody comes here saying, what's you cooking today? I want to learn how to cook. I want to learn an interesting recipe. Nobody's coming to you for that. Absolutely no one. That. <laughs> um, what else did I put? Salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder. I baked them. And then I put them, I made a sauce. I, I, so I, I fried or sauteed in some oil, onion, green pepper, one thing of tomato paste, um, salt pepper. Didn't she say a few minutes ago that she didn't film the cooking because she didn't feel like, quote unquote, sweating it up in the kitchen? Yet she's here saying that she was in the kitchen cooking. I don't see any evidence of that. Pepper. Um, what else? Then I added a beef bouillon. And by the way, foodie, don't think I haven't noticed that you're eating off of a platter, not a plate, and you're using a serving spoon instead of a regular spoon. I, I mean, I just, I'm noticing that right off. You know, your, your portion sizes are out of control, but eating a platter's worth of food and using a serving spoon, just why? Some water, the potatoes and the meatballs, and I let it simmer. Hmm. I can taste the dill. And that's all she wrote. Mm. So what are you guys having for dinner? This is basmati rice, just plain. No, it ain't. You got salt on it. I think different. I think these are called kofta. So I'm making a meal plan for the coming week. Comment below. Thought my makeup was all runny from cooking. Um, but you just said you were not in the kitchen sweating it up. You just said that. <laughs> you can't keep track of your lies, can you? You just said, I didn't feel like sweating it up in the kitchen. You Now you're acting like you just... Went in the kitchen, made a homemade meal from scratch. Guarantee y'all, that's not a homemade meal from scratch. That was her cooking us up in the rice cooker, throwing a can of mixed vegetables up in there with some basic meatballs and some sauce. She probably also got in a can. That's, that's as far as she went as far as the cooking. Just heating stuff up. Meals that go ding. Something you would like to see. I mean, cook. 
and I'll pick something as a viewer's choice. They gotta work, I guess. <laughs> he's so he's so annoyed because there are people actually working outside. You know, like she get she gets so annoyed. Like there are people outside her building working actual jobs. Yet, Miss This Is My Job YouTuber. She's rolling her eyes because other people are actually working and making noise. Oh my God, they're interfering in my video. Get over it. Some things I want to try and make are like chicken pot pie. That would be awesome, but that looks complicated. <laughs> it's not that complicated. The filling, no. The topping? You know, foodie, they do have ready-made pie crust. I'm just saying. I know. I shouldn't tell her that, y'all. I should let her figure it out on her own. If she cares. If she cared, she would go and look up recipes on YouTube and try to find something simple. But she doesn't care that much. We don't have the Cheddar Bay mix i know there's like a viral recipe going right now Ch chantal why are you always searching out things that are viral you've been trying that for the longest looking up anything that is going viral and trying to imitate things that are going viral anything that might be trending you've been trying it for years has anything you've done gone viral no because Usually things that go viral, they're very interesting or they're very funny. You're neither. So stop trying to copy other people and just be yourself. Oh, by the way, I'm not on the floor. I'm sitting on my couch. <laughs> she's, so, she's, so, she's so proud of herself. Look, everybody, I'm not sitting on the floor like a toddler with my legs splayed out. I'm actually sitting on the couch like an adult with a table in front of me. Yay, good for you. <laughs> You're sitting at a table with an actual plate in front of you and actual silverware versus something plastic. Good for you. Acting more like an adult. What an accomplishment. The blue sofa. It's a very common color here for sofas. I love it, royal blue. We want to get a traditional sofa set. I think it's called Majlis. Majlis. It's like the Arabic sofas that sit on the ground. And have Why would you want that? I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. It's beautiful. That sofa set is gorgeous. The, the rug is gorgeous. What a beautiful setup. But it's not for you. And let me tell you why. Because you would have a heck of a time getting off that sofa by yourself. Every time you'd sit down, you would have to have Salah help you to get back up. And you would ruin that sofa and you would ruin the rug in less than a month. So no, not for you. Those like like ones we had at camping. Our anniversary is coming up one year. <clears throat> Someone sent me a message. 
Yeah, people on Twitter have made remarks about that and pointed something out that she posted a video saying when she got married. So if an anniversary was coming up on that, it's already passed. This is why it's a bad idea to lie, Chantal, because you can't keep your lies straight. And once again, the reaction community, they're going to call you out on your nonsense. I don't know why you continue to lie when there are so many people keeping notes and keeping tab on all the details that you seem to forget. Mm. I don't know what we're going to do. Maybe dinner. <clears throat> Movie. I don't know. I got a message from Cameo. People have to pay to send a message, like five bucks. <laughs> I turned the messaging off because I just I don't want to answer questions <laughs> anymore. Um, but I was polite in answering, but it, like it just it amazes me that someone spent money to like ask me, are you and Salah really married? Why do you eat so much? I you know what, Chantal? You should be grateful that people are willing to pay you for anything. Because truly, what have you done lately worth paying for? You've got four, maybe five different channels on YouTube. You have Twitch. You're not really committed to pumping out content regularly on any of your channels. You're lucky that people are still interested in giving you money for any little thing, including asking questions. And if people want to pay $5 to ask a question and all they're doing is asking a question and wanting an answer and you get paid five bucks for it, at this point in time, if I were you, I would answer the doggone question because you are eating through your paycheck, ma'am. That's why you're having to do these home-cooked meals. I'm sure Salah has come forward to you and said, look, Chantal, yes, you're making X amount on YouTube, but you're eating through every single bit of it. So you need to start cooking your own meals because your food bill is completely out of control. So five bucks to answer a question and you got a problem with that. And yeah, people are curious. Uh, like, why do you eat so much? What's going on with you and Salah? That's what they want to know. That's what they're paying for. But you don't want to answer those questions. So from here on out, I don't want to hear anything more from you about anything is too expensive. I don't want to hear you talking about money problems. If people are willing to pay you five bucks on Scamio for just answering a question and you're turning the money away, I guess you don't need it that badly. I kind of just dismissed the second answer. I was just like, I'm not going to get into that. <laughs> but... <laughs> but it amazes me people still don't think we're, like, married. I don't think you're married. From the very beginning, myself and others knew you're not really married. I've always thought it was a paid arrangement of some sort, some financial agreement, maybe contractual, maybe verbal. But there was some sort of agreement between yourself and Salah that you do certain things and he do certain things. And if he does certain things for you, then you pay him a certain amount or you compensate him somehow. The one big question I've always had is how long is this agreement going to go on? Is it for a certain amount of time? Is it indefinite? Uh, it was just like play it by ear. Don't know. But I'm sure at some point he's going to get sick of you and say the juice ain't worth the squeeze and no matter how much money you throw at him, he's going to say, no, I've got other things to do. Because he is still young. I mean, he's still got the capacity to do other things. He's just attached to you for now. But will he be attached to you forever? Especially, especially if you become bed bound. You know, like you're not backing away from that. You're not taking care of your health. You are pushing yourself to the point where you're 
probably going to be bed bound the next six months to a year. If you gain another 100 pounds and you get to a point where you are immobile, do you think Salah is going to take care of you? Does he have the capacity to take care of you? No. He doesn't have the medical training. He is not a licensed nurse, even if he were taking care of a super, super morbidly obese patient in bed, just doing things such as moving the patient to check for bed sores, to check for rashes, to move the patient, to give them a bath in bed, takes more than one person. It's going to be overwhelming for him. He's going to go, nope. And he's going to leave because he is not set up for that. He's not prepared for that. And he's not going to put up with it. So you might want to back away from all the rice and pasta, girlfriend. It's so easy to look up the laws of Kuwait. They're very strict about um, not being married and living together. And when you rent a place... Like when we had to rent this place, my table's moving. I have to kind of hold it. We had to show our marriage license. You know, I'm not saying Kuwait is crooked. I'm sure there's a lot of law abiding citizens and it's a law abiding country, but in some places, money does talk. And there's all kinds of ways to get what you want. I mean, how do we know that the place is not in Salah's dad's name? How do we know that Salah didn't just rent it for himself and she's just say, staying there without anybody knowing? There's all kinds of ways to do this. I also find it interesting that they've been in Kuwait for what, a year? Or she has for about a year. And they keep changing apartments and they keep changing vehicles. It almost points in the direction of maybe they owe people money, like they're running from something. Maybe they're doing something shysty because why else would a newly married couple change vehicles every three months, change apartments every few months? It, it, it points in the direction of there's something shysty going on. Because if everything were above board, why are you changing addresses and changing cars so much? But anyway, there are always going to be those people. Um, we don't work. We don't care. If you want to think we're not married, go for it. <laughs> it's no skin off ours, you know? You're not married. It's just the principle, you know? It's weird to me. So, yeah, our anniversary is one year. Time goes by fast, huh? Mm. You have to make this. Mm -mm You know, I really wish when she did videos like this that she would just get the eating out of the way first and then start talking after. And that way, if she did it that way, I could just zip through her eating the food and focus on the conversation. That would be great. I hate watching her eat. There's a lot of nice fancy restaurants here. I have a plate. That's a platter. It's ridiculous to eat that much. That's my cutlery.
Hmm. I'm going to be posting all my couples related videos, all of our, our couples related videos <laughs> on this channel for now because I'm in the process of switching everything over to like stop stuffing your face and talk my home here in this country okay okay that's interesting i'm i'm switching everything over here cuz this is my home country no it's not Kuwait is not your home country. You do not have citizenship there. You have citizenship in Canada. Are you switching over all the videos from the couple's channel to your main channel because you're trying to switch over the currency from Canadian dollar to dinar? Is that what you're trying to do? And is the reason why you're taking the couple's content off the couple's channel because your main channel gets more views and the plan is to basically recycle the content from over there onto your channel. Chantal, you can't monetize it twice. It'd be one thing if you posted it and it weren't monetized. But you've already monetized that content. You've already made money off of it. You cannot repost it again. Another thought is the reason why she's taking the couple's stuff and putting it on her main channel just is she basically just trying to consolidate everything because she just spread herself too thin and she could only barely keep up with the main channel and maybe there's not going to be so much couple stuff from here on out so she's just deciding to cherry pick through the content and and keep what she wants and get rid of the rest i don't know we'll we'll see we'll see And um, a little bit of a process, so. And for those, and for those who are interested, downloading a video and then re-uploading again. She, she's got tons of stuff on the couple's channel. It's going to take her a long time, so that's going to be, that's going to be a long process. If she migrates everything over from the couple's channel to the main channel, it's going to take a while. She's got plenty of time, but it's going to be a pain in the butt, especially if she's not using a computer. Annoying procedures. Mm-mm-mm. One of my favorite meals. I love meatballs. Nope. There was more rice than meatballs on that plate. She just, she loves her carbs. Bread. Pasta, rice, she's all about them carbs. She carb loads and yet it's like a race car with a tank full of fuel and it sits in the garage. Like, why? <laughs> you don't need all them doggone carbs. You ain't going to go anywhere. You ain't got to do anything. So I don't have very interesting things to talk about today. You never do. Just kind of was like you did. Listen, shut up. You never do, Chantal. Like every video, 
Go back to your videos. If you care. Go back to your videos. You say in every video the same things. In the video, you say, I'm tired. You're always tired. You mention how tired you are. When is the last time you've done a video or a live stream where you've said, I've got lots of energy today. I feel really good. I feel really healthy. We never hear that from you. We hear, I'm tired. Then you also say in every video, I've, I've really got nothing to talk about. Well, that's on you. This is your channel. This is your video. Find something to talk about. Something that's not political. Something interesting. This video is only for like less than 16 minutes. You can't find 14 minutes worth of dialogue to talk about. Like interesting things to bring up. You can't look on the internet and look up interesting things or interesting videos to discuss. It's always the same. I've, I've, I don't know what to say. I got nothing interesting to talk about. And you wonder why your videos suck and why nobody watches anymore. Are with me kind of thing? Nothing too special. You know, anymore, she just gets on camera, eats her food. After she's done eating, she's like, I got nothing to talk about. She just wants to turn on her camera, feed her face, and then turn the camera off. She's not even going to bother trying to make it interesting at all. That's it. That's all. Mm -mm. I had all my dinner. Can I have dessert? Huh. Actually, I don't have anything for dessert. See, she's done with her food. Now she's going to say, okay, guys, bye. Oh, that's a great face. <laughs> Another happy accident. I love it. That's going to be the thumbnail. Yeah, she's done eating. So she's been like, okay, that's all I wanted to do. I want to get on camera and stuff my face. I'm out of here. That's a great face for a thumbnail. Thank you, Chantal. You're so nice. You are so incredibly nice. It's going to be my thumbnail. That face right there. <laughs> but she's done eating, so the video's over. She's not going to even just take five minutes, ten minutes, and talk to everybody. No, she's only going to talk as long as she's able to eat. Once she's done eating, whatever talking was happening is over. So that's it for this video. Hope you guys have enjoyed this react. If you have, please like it, subscribe, and leave a comment. Thank you so much for being here, and I will see you guys on the next one. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.